Barto decides to already expand the huge cast that is got in this episode, and god damn it, am I a little bit weak for the brand new character that they decided to introduce, because I I actually kind of like Awabe a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, he makes a giant earth hammer, and he fucks things up, and he's got a stab, like, the guy seems like, you know what, I'm the strongest, I don't fuck with you, and it seems like he clearly has a long way to go, especially with his attitude, and that he's a bit fucking dumb, but god damn it, I have a soft spot for this character already. So I kind of like that immediately, no one really likes Boruto, where it's like, you know, he does come off as an asshole in the first day. He's like, hey guys, I'm Boruto, how's it going? You threw a fucking train car into the Hokage statue, you idiot. And everyone thought that this was like a big prank for like what he did. Like, no one knows the actual true reasons why. Like, it's obviously the fucking kid with glasses did not decide to say, hey, we did that because, you know, shit happened, you know, the car went on the ramp. Like, that's the thing where, like, everyone thinks he's an asshole for doing that and, like, you know, fuck him. And the reason he was able to get off is because he's the Hokage's son. So, already, a lot of people are kind of glaring at him. But, no matter what, Boruto immediately, like, makes sure that he's one of, like, he makes sure he excels in the classes. He makes sure, like, he's a strong taijutsu guy. Like, he makes sure already to put this up where he's like, I'm, you know, just because I'm fucking the Hokage's, you know, son doesn't mean I can put in some other stuff. Like, he's already one the strongest people in his class and I kind of appreciate a lot of people was kind of like shitting on him with that especially as well what we got to see with Sai and Ino's child and all that like you clearly see as well from here like Inojin like he did not give a fuck he clearly took all of like Sai's personality where it's like you're a piece of shit go fuck yourself for the most part and he's just he's straightforward with it and even the fact that like you get like someone like Iwade is like you are literally running on the coattails of your father and I'm gonna prove you that you're a piece of shit although he did come off as an asshole for the most part because he was like picking on me and like you know Bard is like I'm gonna like also make sure that you know stop you from bullying my friend because you know Fuck you. Like, that's what, like, I ain't having the stuff. And they have a clash for, like, while other classmates are seeing each other. And I did like it that we'll bring it back all this stuff because clearly they haven't, you know, grown fully as ninjas as we've been able to see. Like, you know, they're throwing shurikens. They're using substitute jitsus. You know, we're seeing, like, you know, them hiding behind walls. Like, I kind of like this. Early versions of Naruto fighting. No, we don't need to get to see, like, immediately god-powered for second guards and fighting. But, like, I kind of like that we're seeing early Taijutsu fighting, combining with a little bit of ninjas. The fact that they had to recap to say, this is what Chakra is. This is what, you know, this is. They had to bring it out because, like, a lot of people, this will be their first time getting into the Naruto universe. Even though there's 700 episodes worth of, like, Naruto material already, this would be a good thing where it's, like, it helps a lot of people kind of recap a little bit about, uh, like, the whole, uh, how chakra works plus as well for new time users and all that it's going to be like perfect way for them to get in and the fact is i did enjoy it. i did notice a couple like you know it did look a little bit wonky here and there but i was really enjoying the fact that we were just seeing like you know this ninja battle going down and like i'm so used to like naruto fights not really being this and it's kind of nice a little bit fresh it's like i kind of hope when they go to tune in exam kind of material from like the movie i hope they really excel on that kind of material what some of the stuff i loved from the start of the tuning exams and i like that's the point where it's like I adore like kind of like how Naruto was com like combining Taijutsu alongside you know a little bit of the magical sense of like chakra that's what I was hoping to see and the fact that, that this guy lost his cool like Awabi he was immediately you know like as Boruto was pushing him around the corner that he was like I ain't gonna use my weapon and the fact that he immediately backed up from that as soon as he was getting his ass handed pulled that out started breaking the fucking earth and the fact that Inujin had to get involved and he's like I'm taking that staff away you know full well you just lost you the second that you used that staff and, you know, he learned a little bit from that. He was like, okay, like, he's trying to hide it, but I feel like, you know, the fact of the matter is, is like, he's, like, acting like, oh, if this wasn't your, you know, Hokage, so you treated him as stupid. Like, he's kind of going the way where it's like, I'm strong, that's all you need to be a ninja, where it's like, no, you need to learn how to work with your comrades as well, you need to learn how to strategize, might... It doesn't, you know, isn't the only thing you need in a ninja, and that's what they're trying to teach. So overall, I did enjoy the episode for that. Uh, I definitely, honestly, I was way more excited for the first episode than it was, but I definitely enjoyed a lot, like, for what we're going for the soundtrack so far of the episode. Definitely as well, that opening is just catchy as hell. Oh my god, I am humming that every time that that is playing right now. So definitely going to be enjoying that the rest of it. And the fact is that we're going to be seeing some other characters soon and all that. Like, oh, Metal Lee is next week. I really want to know what Metal Melly's deal is, he doesn't sound as hype as his dad, though. Like, I want to know what his whole story is. It sounds like he's, like, he's nervous 
just like kind of shy, so I hope that isn't the case, but we'll soon see. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what you think about this episode of Boruto and the fact that we're going to be seeing about Rock Lee's son next week. That is all for me. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.